ברכה שלומם שלומם גבוה פלגה בנאומי הר בשם אשר כבשה בשם אלוקה הקדש פיס ובסוף על הבוא מול כל צעד זינו קו אינפורמיישן סינס ואני חייב לו אינפורמיישן דיילנו ווילו ג'ון פאדמו ג'ון דה רבולטור ואין פרופסיין טו דה מישיין מן אולי Is, uh, he basically told him his kingdom was going to fall, man. <laughs> they were sorry at John. He said, and the king said to him, Are thou John who said that, that, that my kingdom would speedily be uprooted and that another king, right, Jesus, Yahushua, was going to reign instead of me? And John answered and said to him, Thou also shall reign for many years given thee by God and after thee very many others when the times of things upon earth have been fulfilled out of heaven shall come a king eternal true judge of the living and dead to whom every nation and tribe shall confess though through uh, whom every earthly power and dominion shall be brought to nothing and every mouth speaking great things shall be shut right like the wicked one the scriptures speak about uh, he had a mouth speaking great things in Daniel right This is the mighty Lord and King, everything that have breath and flesh, the Word and Son of the Living One, who is Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. At this, the mission said to him, What is the proof of these things? I am not persuaded by words only. What are the sight of the, of the unseen? What canest thou show me in earth or heaven by the power of him who is destined to reign as thou sayest? For he will do it if he is the son of God. And immediately John, right? Immediately John asked for a deadly poison <clears throat> in front of uh, Emperor Domitian, man. And the king having ordered poison to be given to him, they brought it on the instant. Hey, man, John was really off the hook, man. He... he He knew the Lord was with him, bro. It was like he was really untouchable for real, man. You know what I'm saying? John, therefore, having taken it, put it into a large cup and filled it with water and mixed it and cried out with a loud voice and said, In thy name, Jesus Christ, right? Son of God, I drink the cup which thou will sweeten, and the poison in it do thou mingle with thy Holy Spirit and make it become a draught of life. And salvation for the healing of soul and body for digestion right for digestion and harmless assimilation for faith not to be repented of for undeniable testimony of death as the cup of thanksgiving and when he had drunk in the cup those standing beside Domitian had expected that he was going to fall to the ground in convulsion so John the uh, Revelator, John the Beloved, he drunk poison, just like it says in the New Covenant. If any man drink any poison, it shall not harm him. All right? So this actually happened with John the Beloved, y'all. <clears throat> okay? And we had drunk in the cup those standing beside the nation expected that he was going to fall to the ground in convulsions. Now, I'm not telling y'all, Beloveds, to go what? <clears throat> drink, drink poison. But what, a lot of us do drink poison because what, a lot of you brothers are drinking pop, which pop lowers your pH levels, man. High fructose, corn syrup. We're drinking poison, man, right now. And, 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 uh, and uh, scattered among the Gentiles, man. All right, the whole world is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. All right? So our people are drinking water, water so, uh, what's poison. Some people are drinking, you know, bad tap water, you know, all the, you know, bottled waters and all the chemicals they spray in these bottled waters, you know, and taking uh, away, away the electrolytes out the water and the minerals. You know, we have been drinking poison, but John the River literally drank poison. And like, I have a testimony, beloved ones. I accidentally drank po uh, poison on accident which was bleach, man. And uh, the Lord preserved me, man. So it's pretty deep, man. So let's keep it going. It says, uh, uh, those standing beside the mission 
expected that he was going to fall to the ground in convulsions. And when John stood cheerful and talked with them safe, Domitian was enraged against those who had given the, the poison as having spared John. So they thought he gave him, they gave him some fake poison. But they swore by the fortune and help of the king and said that there could not be a stronger poison than this. And John, understanding what they were whispering to one another, said to the king, Do not take it ill, O king, but let a trial be made, and thou shalt learn the power of the poison. Make some condemned criminal be brought from the prison. And when he had come, John put the water into a cup and swirled it around. He went really spiritual power on him, acting, acting fool on him and gave it with all the dregs to the condemned criminal. So they had a criminal come up, and let's see if he's going, if, if this poison is going to take him out, man. <laughs> and he, having taken it and drunk, immediately fell down and died, man. So he died from the poison. But John, a beloved, he drunk the poison and had no effect on him. He's a beloved, man. Tahar is not on a level like this, man. Tahar ain't on no level like this, man. Okay, but what well, we have been drinking pop, though, that is poison. But this ain't, this is some other stuff, man. All right. And he, having taken it and drunk, immediately fell down and died. And when all wondered at the signs that had been done, and when Domitian had retired and gone to his palace, John said to him, O Domitian, king of the Romans, didst thou contrive this, that thou being present and bearing witness, I might today become a murderer. What is to be done about the dead body which is lying? Right, like the guy that drunk that poison. And he ordered to be taken down and thrown away. But John going up to the dead body said, O God, maker of heavens and Lord and master of angels and glories and powers in the name of what? Jesus Christ and my shakel thine only begotten son. When it says he's the only begotten son, that don't mean the most high don't got other sons, y'all. So let me, let me say that one more time for you Israelites. When the scripture says that the Lord Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son, that don't mean that the Most High don't have other sons and that there's no other uh, angels or gods, man. When it says that uh, that is his only begotten son, that means Yahweh Shai was the only son, son of or angel that was begotten in the flesh. That's what that means, man. When it says he's his only begotten son, I mean that he was the only angel or, or God that came in the flesh through a woman. Okay? None of the other angels or gods did that. Satan didn't come in the flesh through a woman or none of the angels. They just manifest and materialize. But the Lord Yahweh Shah, he actually came in the flesh through a woman, man. Okay? So he was begotten in the flesh. So let's keep it going. All right, uh, all right, it said, what did it say? Uh, thy only begotten son, give this to, give to this man who, uh, has died for this occasion, a renewal of life, and restore him his, his soul, that the mission may learn that the word is much more powerful than poison, and is the ruler of life, man. Who, wait a minute, the word, who's the word, y'all? Glory to Yahweh Shai, that's God, baby. That Domitian, okay, let this Roman emperor learn, learn that this word is more powerful than anything. All right, I drunk bleach myself on accident by, you know, Jake washing dishes and not rinsing the dishes all the way out. And uh, one day I came home tired from work, man, not knowing Jake ain't washed the damn dishes out. And I accidentally drunk some poison, beloved ones. And uh, at first, I was scared that, you know, something bad was going to happen. But what, the Lord actually healed me through all that, man. All right, I was calling doctors and everything, and they said they couldn't do nothing about, uh, you know, that poison. Because I had to call to put Poison Control Center. And what, the Lord delivered me, man. All right, so if anybody want to claim reincarnation, hey, well, hey, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm John the Beloved, man, because I drunk poison, baby. All right, I drunk bleach. John the Beloved drunk poison in the front of Domitian Emperor, man. Okay, let's keep it going. Now, now that's, that's just a joke, y'all, Beloved. I don't know who I am. If uh, 
You know, if we are somebody reincarnated, the Lord will bring that out in the resurrection, man. Until then, you know, it's, it's nothing to be worrying about, man. All right, you need to be worrying about making uh, the first resurrection so you don't have to see that second death, man. That's what you need to be worrying about, getting in this new covenant. Right, so it says, uh, and having taken him by the hand, he raised him up alive, man. So John the Beloved also resurrected the dead. Does not the scripture says resurrected dead in the Gospels? Blood was had this power, man. And when all and when all were glorifying God and wondering at, let's see, I ain't really want to read this whole thing, but you know this book is really big. Faith of John the Mission said to him, "I have put forth a degree to the Senate that all such." persons should be summarily dealt with without trial but since i find from that thee that they are innocent and that the religion is rather beneficial i banish thee to an island i banish thee to an island so this is when john of Pat patmos uh john of beloved was banished to the island man see a lot of y'all just think he was just banished to the island and that's the beginning of his damn story you don't know no, man there's, there's stuff that happened before that as well. And that I may not see myself to do away with my own decrees. He asked then that the condemned criminal should be let go. And when he was let go, John said, depart, give thanks to God who has this day delivered thee from prison and from death, man. So he was, he was raised back to life, man, through the power of the new covenant, right? And while they were standing, a certain homeborn slave of Domitian and those in the bedchamber was suddenly seized and an unclean demon lay dead. And the word was brought to the king and the king was moved and entreated John to help her. And John said, it is not in man to do this, but since thou knowest how to reign, but dost not know from whom thou hast received it, learn who has the power over both these in thy kingdom. And he prayed thus, O Lord, thy God of every kingdom and master of every creature, give to this maiden the breath of life. And having prayed, he raised her up. And Domitian, astonished at all the wonders, sent him away to an island, appointed for him a set time. And straightway John sailed to Patmos, where also he was deemed worthy to see the revelation of the end man okay and when Domitian was dead Nerva, so that's when he wrote the book of revelations and when Domitian was dead it says Nerva succeeded to the kingdom and recalled all who had been banished and having kept the kingdom for a year he made Trajan his successor in the kingdom so this goes into a lot of Roman stuff it gets really wild man all right so the point was though he drunk poison and he was sent to the island Patmos, man. So shut him on. You know, the Lord Yahweh Shah said, if, if, and if any of the beloveds drink any poison, it ain't going to harm him, man. So shut him on.